Well, let's talk about electoral violence now and politicization and manipulation of the judiciary to favor the political class are major setbacks to democratic governance in Africa. These are the observations of a former UN special representative of the general or the secretary general, Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers, at a high level stakeholders engagement on electoral violence in Africa. According to him, the phenomenon does not only threaten democracy, but also leads to military takeovers and political instability. Dr. Ibn Chambers was speaking at the West African Network for Peace Building, high level uh, stakeholder engagement on electoral violence in Africa. Samuel Mbura has more. Between 2023 and 2025, the West African region will witness at least 60 elections. These include six presidential, six legislative and four general elections. Among the countries expected to conduct these elections are Togo, Benin, Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana, Guinea, Niger and Cote d'Ivoire. All these countries have had a history of various electoral violence in recent years. Specifically, Benin and Senegal are also experiencing tendencies of term elongation or non-inclusive process ahead of the elections. Dr. Ibn Chambers holds the view the political class is responsible for all infractions and warns against further manipulations which will disrupt a relatively stable political environment. Is the instrumentalization of the judiciary. The politicization of the judiciary in a number of countries to influence election results or to elongate the mandate of certain presidents had contributed to political instability. Yet the judiciary remains the last defense line to democracy people. Therefore, where a judge sitting on an election matter is motivated by his or her personal interests at the expense of fair adjudication, the inevitable result in tense electoral contest is usually violence that we have seen in a number of places. Uh, so I think this is an issue that uh, more and more also needs to be interrogated. Dr. Ibn Chambers believes reformation of electoral processes and inclusion of the youth in governance processes could check political violence. Public trust is fundamental for a credible electoral process. A recent Afrobarometer survey from 18 African countries, including eight West African countries, indicated that while the majority of Africans accept elections, they perceive the announcement of results from the last elections in their countries as inaccurate. To prevent further truncation of the democratic trajectory, Parliament should take steps to bridge the political divide to restore reform processes for the establishment of strong legal and institutional frameworks for democratic elections and governance. The youthful population in our region is one of the opportunities for rebuilding towards democratization, but as you know, uh, the youth is a double-edged sword. We have to harness the youth for good purpose, uh, because if we don't, it can also be the instruments to be used for violence and the disruption of the uh, process. Director of Elections at the Electoral Commission of Ghana, Dr. Sribo Kweku says, the public mistrust for electoral management bodies is orchestrated by stakeholders involved in the election process. He called for collective efforts to address the challenge. It's, it, it, I would say it is the stakeholders. So they themselves will pad your, uh, tap your back when they win. When they lose, it's a different ball game. So the issue is the stakeholders themselves should tell the people what they know and appreciate. Because, like I said, we have moved since 92 to this date. So if we, we are still doubting the processes, then when are we going to believe in the system? So to me personally, I don't think that we are not doing well, we are doing well, but people should appreciate that this is how the system works and they should follow how the system works. What is the Electoral Commission of Ghana doing to ensure that you build public trust in your activities? It is an issue of about continuous education and engagement. So we we'll continue to engage people, we we'll continue to improve on our education. I think that's what we can do. With funding support from the European Union, the West African Network for Peace Building, WANEP, 
implemented the electoral violence monitoring, analysis, and mitigation project in 2021. It is partnering the Economic Commission for West African States and ANIS on a regional workshop to share lessons learned from that project. Samuel Mbura's report for Joy News, Accra.